welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a full tour of my whole apartment to kind of show you what I have and also how I've organized all of it. And so before I get started, I wanted to talk to you about the four different organizing styles. So the four are a combination of either being visual or hidden in how you like things organized and micro and macro in terms of categories of organization. So those all pair together to make four organizing styles. And so I lean towards being a micro organizer and hidden. So I like things in drawers, behind cabinets, in smaller categories. My husband is more of a visual organizer and prefers bigger categories. And so because that's the kind of organization that he can maintain, we've leaned more into that in our house. And so you're gonna see different organization styles around our house and the organization styles, that's an idea that I got from Cass from Clutterbug. She goes way in depth and can help you specifically based on your organization style once you figure it out. She has tests and stuff like that you can take. Super helpful concept. In this video, you might see organization that you think is unattainable for you and that's okay. It doesn't mean that you organize any worse, it just means you organize differently. And so I think understanding that, that everyone organizes in a different way is super helpful. So for example, in a drawer that I have dividers in, if it would work for you to have the same stuff in a drawer, but just no dividers, and that's how you can maintain it, great, that's perfect. It means you probably prefer macro categories and that's awesome. So figure out who you are and lean into that. So the stuff that you're seeing today might not work for you, but I hope that as you see things and as you hear the ways that I'm organizing things, that you learn some tips and tricks for how to organize your space as well. So right when you walk in our house, the bathroom is to the left. Here we utilize lots of hooks. We have four bath towels total and then two hand towels. One hangs here, the other here. And in our shower, we just have five products, shampoo, conditioner, face scrub, body wash, shaving cream, then I have a hairbrush there and my razor is on the wall there. Here, we have a ring dish here, nothing else on the counter besides soap. Down here, we have our two extra towels. This is where I keep um, Lush containers that I'm waiting to recycle. And here are all of our extras. So extra toothpaste when you run out, toothbrushes, birth control, face scrub, stuff like that. Behind that is extra soap, extra toilet cleaner. Up here are three bags. The first one is all of my makeup. The second is all of my nail polish, nail polish remover and cotton rounds. And the last has our travel toiletry stuff. Then I have my magnifying mirror, my hair dryer, super easy to grab, extra wipes, extra toilet paper and our cleaning stuff right here. Hanging on the cabinet door, I have our three towels that we use to clean the bathroom. Starting from the top, we have my drawer. I have it separated into pretty much skin, hair, teeth, and then some extras around here. Next, I have, this is all the stuff, these products here in the front I use on my hair. These are all of my tools. And then this stuff goes on my skin. I used to be the kind of person that would buy a lot of products to try, but now I've kind of settled on the products that I do like. And so I have the one that I'm using, a backup when the one I'm using is getting close to running out. I really find that having fewer products streamlines the getting ready process. It makes it super easy and I know that all of my products I love, I use, and I enjoy. Lastly, down here is where we keep our toilet paper and wipes. And then moving up here, this shelf is where my husband keeps his toiletries. We have cotton swabs, some decorative stuff in here is our medicine. So we have some vitamins, painkiller, first aid kit, lotion, washcloths. And then on the side here is my husband's strop for his straight razor. So I never see it when I come in here, so I love that. So we have a lot of that kind of thing going on in our house. We really do use hooks all over our apartment. I think it's such a great way to get things off of the ground or to hide things. So if you're in a small space, hooks really do help. Put them anywhere you can think of. Moving on out of the bathroom, this is the first thing that you see when you walk in the house. It's where we keep our shoes. I keep my backpack here, our keys here, reusable grocery bags, masks, of course. This is kind of like our command center. So some cute things, some cute reminders, um, receipts, 
and a gift card, punch cards up here. You'll see this in a later video, but this is how I organize my week. This clipboard is where I keep bills, usually important documents to fill out and send back or whatever. I have those hidden behind right now just because I don't want you guys to see those. And then our coins. This is kind of a catch-all box. Um, our bike lock is there, speaker, extra key. My glasses are hanging there. Moving on to the kitchen. Let me give you the broad overview first. I love the open shelving. It kind of forces us to stay organized. So on the stovetop is where we keep our pan. We keep a candle there because we can't light candles in our apartment, but we melt them and it smells great. Our kettle. The only other thing that goes on the stovetop is our pot. And um, so we have four burners and one warmer. So we don't have more than four things that can go on our stove. And I like that. We have our oven mitt on this little hook here. And then down here, we have our baking stuff. So a baking sheet, a reusable baking mat, loaf pan, steamer for our pot. This is, we put you can put hot things on that. And then this I said I was getting rid of. It was a gift. So I'm holding on to it a little bit longer just because we only have one other oven mitt. Um, to see if we need it. This is where I keep our tongs and then other candles in the back there. In this drawer are our knives and kitchen towels. And then down here is where you'll start seeing that our kitchen is not just for kitchen stuff. We have our games here. This is where I kind of put, it's like a catch-all for papers that are lying around. Um, our documents, my husband's school binder, my music binder, Something to bring meals to people in if we need to. Some extra plates and bowls for hosting. And back here is where we keep our extra brown and white rice. This is our utensil drawer. We have measuring stuff in here. The stuff for the AeroPress. All of our kitchen tools are in this drawer besides our utensils over here. Technically, we only have a place setting for five people, but we also only have four plates. We do have those extras. But with all the forks we have, I mean, we have 10 forks, right? So we can host 10 without needing to get extra supplies. Down here, I call this our pantry. Um, we have spices in here, canned goods, our bread, um, reusable bags, paper bags here for lunches. And then, yeah, all of our spices, peanut butter, honey, and chai, tea mixes, stuff like that. Chocolate, of course. And then down here, this is what I call our office. <laughs> So yeah, all of our like little everything else pretty much. It's kind of like a junk drawer, but I like to keep mine organized. Um, so yeah, all of our electronic stuff. So in here too, this is the best example of how I am a micro organizer. So yeah, all of my little things in there. And then I love our little tiny dishwasher. It's perfect for us. Um, our dish rack, this is kind of where our cutting boards live. We don't really have a other good place for them besides just leaning them up against the tile. Um, but they, they work fine, just kind of staying there. And then this little dish houses our dish soap, hand soap, and sponge. Our little coffee tray with our coffee maker and coffee grinder. And then hidden back here are the filters. I like that. And then we have our Vitamix on the counter as well. We just bring it over and plug it in when we need to. Hanging here are the lids for these guys. You may or may not have noticed that we don't have paper towels in our house. We use these reusable napkins and then we also have some washcloths underneath the sink that we use for cleaning up messier messes. We get our tea in this basket, another ring dish of course, a notepad for any notes we might need to take while we're on a phone call or something like that. Here is where our grocery list is and then here is where a little pen lives so if we need to use that for the grocery list or that, that's where we find it. I definitely asked for the weekly planner that you saw earlier and this grocery list for Christmas. And then, yeah, our mugs hang here. We have some extra mugs too. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then plates, bowls. We just have four of each besides our extras, but we never use those um, except for guests. We have some pantry items um, in jars. And then, of course, oils and salt. I love these hanging baskets. I found them on Amazon. We have them in our kitchen and in our closet and they work great. Up here, wine glasses, water glasses, potatoes, <laughs> um, mortar and pestle. We actually found these at Goodwill. It was a really good find. So left to right, we keep popcorn kernels, brown rice, white rice, oatmeal, and protein powder. 
And then we have our nicer glasses in the corner, a bowl and a travel mug. Up here are our baking dishes. So we keep our Tupperware in our fridge. We have no other place to put it. And I don't think it's that silly, but everyone thinks it's so silly. It's become so normal to me, so I forgot to mention it, but we also keep our lunchbox in our fridge and we keep that thing that you can put ice in or hot water in if you get a bump or something like that in our freezer. And it's just like, we just store it where we use it, right? And so part of it's because we have a small space and nowhere else to put it. But part of it is that even though it seems silly, it makes sense. <laughs> Down here, we have a double lazy Susan. So on the top is all of our baking stuff. And on the bottom is a combination of backups and kind of, I guess, like salty pantry staples, um, as well as some extra mugs too. Underneath our sink, we have our recycling and our trash cleaning supplies and vases are in the back. And I just keep our dishwashing detergent and then like my all-purpose cleaner, watering can for plants, and our stainless steel cleaner there. This is where our strainer hangs. I love this here. And then here is where we have just two towels for cleaning hanging there as well. So as you can see, I use that organization hack all over this place. If there's anything we don't have a good organization system for yet, it's books. We have so many books. We really do have a lot of books. It might not look like it in this video. I decluttered a handful before starting this video. And then we both have textbooks in our backpacks. So there's just no way in our house that the shelves that we have hold all the books that we have. So we've talked about getting another bookshelf and because I don't think I'll be able to talk my husband out of getting rid of enough books for our bookshelf to handle all the books that we actually have. That's actually why I got a Kindle because I knew that it would make school easier because that's where I keep my most of my textbooks, the ones that are available on Kindle. It's easier to take books to and from school that way. And I knew it'd be easier to move. My physical books take up half of one of those shelves that you just saw. <laughs> The rest are Anthony's. Um, and then we have just some knickknacks on these shelves. Down here is workout stuff. Same over here, some little knickknacks and um, incense. My husband's record player, records, and then this is his drawer. As funny as I think Anthony's drawer is, it really is a good tip for if you have a spouse that isn't quite on the same level of organization as you or if they organize differently and so that's why i have that drawer and the basket underneath that cabinet for papers and the one on top of the hooks when we walk in the door is if things are just around i put them there and that way things are tidy the way that i like it but also anthony knows where to look for his things over here is where there's some books underneath here, ones that we kind of use every single day. And then in here, we have a projector and all the cords for that. Yeah, so I don't buy Kleenex. It's just one less thing to buy and it simplifies shopping and toilet paper works just great. This is a jewelry stand that I got for Anthony for his birthday. It's where he keeps his ring and watch and necklace that he wears at night. Over here is one of my new favorite things. Um, a basket for a blanket. And so we pretty much just use this one blanket and then my other blankets stay folded pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Over here, we have our Polaroids hanging. We have a bulletin board for notes, my Polaroid camera, Polaroid pictures, extra little knickknacks, laptop, my husband's Hebrew cards, and this is also where my ring light lives. Moving on to the bedroom, we have a basket here for an extra blanket and I have a little side table there for my Kindle and then this side table here too. We do keep a couple books in here. These are kind of the books that we're currently reading um, and this big theology book uh, we don't have a better place for. And here I get kind of our lotions, small little things, my jewelry box, more toilet paper as Kleenex of course and some of my husband's journals and stuff there. This is also where my guitar lives. This needs to be hung back up. And then we have a hanging organizer on the back of this door for our coats and robes. Moving into the closet, 
These are all of our hanging clothes. Um, we use baskets for our undergarments. It works great. I used to fold all of my husband's underwear, but then I learned I could just throw it all in a basket and that works great and he doesn't mind at all. Over here, we have some extra shoes of mine, um, winter gear, and then pants, more books, laundry. You may have noticed that I don't fold things super meticulously and I have a way that I'd like to fold everything that I have, but I find that trying to do it perfectly every time is just a little bit too exhausting and I don't care that much about it. So behind that, we have another door that we use for organization of scarves, sweatshirts, bags, my work apron and belts. And then this is our back room. So this is our storage area. We have our vacuum, our mop, my wedding dress, some of my husband's skateboards, our bikes. So here's where we keep all the stuff that we're storing. I always have donate boxes, of course. I have a time will tell bin. That's kind of where I put things that I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to let go of, um, but I'm putting them away to see if I can live without them. Climbing, bags, Christmas, a bin for Anthony, a bin for me, seasonal and occasional, guest bedding, and camping. Behind that are two suitcases and our climbing mat. And then I keep our laundry soap. We have laundry soap sheets and then dryer sheets on top of the dryer. On the side here I have, this is what I cleaned the lint off of the dryer with and then our laundry bags there. And yeah, down here is where we keep the extra um, accessories for our vacuum and mop. So this space is my least favorite place in the house. Um, mostly because it's just the storage room, but also because our Lou and Lawrence have some stuff back there. So it doesn't look the way that I would want it to look. Um, but the stuff that I'm talking about, that is all the stuff that belongs to us. What we have isn't perfect, but it works. It's what works for us. It's what we're able to maintain. And I think that's the most important thing is you have to find the level of clutter, the level of stuff that you can maintain. And I think, you know, could we get rid of more? Yes. Could we keep more? Probably not. I think there's a reason that I declutter so often because I think I've kind of found the sweet spot of how much stuff I can handle. And then as more things come in the house, it's only a matter of a couple of weeks until I'm getting rid of more. So I think about what you saw today is what I can comfortably manage. And there's even still progress in areas that I want to make. The idea of a clutter threshold comes from Dana K. White. She's brilliant. She talks all about this, so definitely go check her out. Well, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my home. I hope you learned something. Like this video if you did. Subscribe so you can see more videos. And let me know in the comments what organization style you think you are. So... Um, and so Anthony doesn't do that. My husband, my husband, whereas my husband likes things visual and he really is, he's a decently organized person. He appreciates the organization.